What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up what happened last time, um, continued skirmishing off against Hanover. And I've laid siege to Cologne um, with depleted troop, which I yeah, I've used to defend Netherlands with, um, Amsterdam with, and this side forth. So I'm going to fight this one. Um, I've got a good amount of troops, good amount of cavalry, so I have to be a bit careful because I don't have so much cavalry. But I do have square and I do have pikes, so... And you have artillery, which is a big one. Um, so this has the pro this has the potential to go like a decent sized one fairly quickly between Amsterdam and um, decide to then go and attack Paris. I've got a full I've got a full stack of a very very strong and capable garrison to fight. So we get to the weird scenario where sometimes it might be worth actually passing. Your guys have to run in from a distance, but you know. Oof. Interesting. Interesting terrain. Let's do this. Do that. I'm going to blast whoever goes down into that hole with canister. Then let's deploy my depleted troops. Once they're depleted, once they're not so depleted. Let's just do this. Because if they come around from the right, I need to spread out on this area. Len, then, let's highlight those as one group. Two, three, four. For the center. I'm going to presume they're going to come in, this, they're going to be over there. So then let's pick out the rest of my infantry. So let's put a thing of pikes behind this artillery piece, set of pikes behind these artillery pieces. Then a bot then a packet of cav for each flank. With my general here. Units of cav coming around the right. So I might end up deploying these guys in this direction. And have these guys back up this flank. Because I think these guys should be fairly strong. Everyone pouring fire into the center. Now I'm going to speed up time a bit to let them form and advance. Keeping on a lot of cav going to the right. All the cav from the right is actually going over to the left. So let's get you over here with my lancers and my gendarmerie. If anything, let's shift my general's bodyguard over a bit too. Get some good shots on a a lancer unit in the distance. Excellent volley, gentlemen. Let's see what happens. Hey, I'll take four dead cavalrymen. Um, pound them because they're straight ahead of you. Damn wolves. Interestingly, I think we should be okay. Ooh, good. Devastating. Okay, now you may as well just fire on an infantry unit. You guys probably just do the same.
Hope you're ready for Pike Fan. Come on, okay. They are wheeling right, so I will wheel these guys right. Oh, if I do that, will that bait you in? That it does. See, I'm trying to go for my guns, but not going to work. There you go, counter charge the cow. Cheveux Leger in. Massacring their cav. Hey, Swiss bikes, carry on, man. Everything's going. This, on the other hand, might not be quite so good, so let's embark these units, wheel this flank around here. Broken, 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 shattered, get them out of square. Just line them up here. Be like, come on. If you want to come back and have another go, feel free. So this is... Oh, God, alive. No, don't do that. So this is what I want to do. The other way. They are running. Let's match it with you guys. Where's my lances? Yeah, they're charging, all right. My cav alone should be able to isolate that single pocket of cav. What is that? Cesar's coming right towards us. Unlimber canister, unlimber canister. Turn off fire at will, because they will shoot my cab. You hit them, you hit them. Fire! Both fire upon the non-retreating land there unit.
Oh, yes. In the Valley of Death you do go, Hanoverians. I think I might do this. Share my fire. Okay, share my fire again to make sure I don't fire at the breaking unit. you out a bit more, get more guns to bear. There you go, switch to canister. Some good shots into my line infantry, but I should be overwhelming them in terms of firepower. Good shot, good rounds of canister shot going off. Yeah, it should be breaking any minute. Canister rounds going off. Cool, let's go for you and you. Let the line infantry go this way around the hill. Let this guy come around the hill. These guys will get picked on by my infantry. These guys will get charged by my cavalry. And actually, no, wait for them to commit. Wait for them to get within musket range. Go, go, go. Gradually picking them away. not necessarily bothered about maximizing my kills on them because round shot just to chase them off into the distance cool call my cavalry back now they are winded. Good canister volleys. Which my foot doesn't have the benefit of artillery and support, but they are picking them off. West Indian line is back. Break 
broken. Another shattered. Well, one of them shattered, but just keep them firing. Nonetheless, these guys are wavering. The mustard yellow Hanoverian infantry. They're in a slight defilade, but these guys will start to be exposed. Yeah, they are taking losses, but if they crest the hill... Cool, one unit of hussars, another unit of infantry... This unit, this battery to halt fire. Charge the mercenaries again, I suppose. Charge them up to the crest. Throw my pikes in, because if they're cav so if they're cavalry fancy a go, then I'll mince them up with big pointy sticks. Which they are fancying. Feeling confident, even. You know what? Bayonet charge. We'll see who takes the glory from this field. Where's my gem? Chase down that unit of militia. Get some good points. Some good traits. There you go. Cavalry on one flank. Infantry on the other. Uh, maybe it might be worth actually trying to chase them down. Don't need my pikes to chase down their cavalry. Let's do it actually, let's just make sure that, oh, hold on, pause, halt, where's my dragoon, not my dragoons, my lances, Cool, that's a living. Oh, pause. Both of them have finished. What the hell are these guys doing? <laughs> Excellent. Keep Hanover bottled up, take them out, send one of the army south, knock out Savoy. Things aren't going well. So many lost. Don't even feel the need to attack. Just let them break upon my troops like water on rocks. It's quite a good defensive position, actually. The geography weighs some their troops into bottlenecks. There is a port in this region. Okay, so I've got seasoning. Select the type of port to construct here. Boop. Let's do that. Let's do that. A trade port will provide God, I lost two ships. But I sank their fleet. Okay, let's do that. That's fixed. Okay. More ports being blockaded, but that's okay. Built a farm. Mm. 
yeah, lots of trade is being disrupted. But if I do this, this army that's kind of ill, abandon your garrison duty because you should be okay. Yeah, two's not enough for them to, to uh, rebel. Get this sloop. Make poor in this place. Oof. Maybe not. <laughs> God, love. So they don't come out. Let's let me replenish. Uh, that's not built yet, so I can't do anything about that. You recruited artillery in Alsace Lorraine. Get up there. Trade gained. Vic Victor Marie Destre. Plus one morale. Oh, that's this guy. If I do this, I think I can, like, stop them from moving around. And if they kick me out, I'm fairly sure I can stop them from island hopping. I think I'm fairly sure that's a thing. Marseille's been blockaded again, but don't have to put up with your rubbish for long. So how long until... One turn. One turn I get that, then not fire in advance. Fire by rank with Orleans, probably. Six turns. Okay. Oh, Britain. Austria and Sweden have refused to join my side. Where are they going to blockade? They're probably just not happy I'm invading all these Caribbean islands. Uh-oh. No, I'm not going to ally with you, Austria. You can... Sweet, the Scots have a fantastic saying. You can get to something rude. So that army that's defending myself against the Iroquois... They're going to swing north to get ready to defend Quebec. Go back. Be that army at Quebec. Oh, God, I'm exposed to all the 13 colonies now, aren't I? God, I'm at war on all of my fronts. No. Screw you guys. You've had your chance. I'm not going to ally with you for nothing. You're done. You're dead to me, Austria and Sweden. See, where was that before, huh? Ooh, go on, Louisiana. Do some sneaky things against Britain. Oh, that's, oh God alive. Go away, Savoy. Leave me alone. <laughs> if I can knock out Hanover, that makes this all so much simpler. Wernberg's definitely going to declare on me. Definitely. Rioting has broken out in this region as Gentlemen. the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the rioters. Don't want to get rid don't want to free taxes, but or send in the troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act quickly before the riot becomes a rebellion. Right. Lay siege to them. I think I have to attack them because I need to free. I need to free up forces quickly. Oh, if Spain declares on me as well, that's gonna. It's going to really suck. Mughal Empire. Just try these, because sometimes they do fire. Oh, 
No, I'm not going to pay you to be friends. Although that's kind of your job, I guess, because we are pirates. You know what would be good? Well, I've got the money, but to build fortifications around Paris. Hmm. Workers on strike in the Leeward Islands. Bien, they'll riot and break probably the sugar works. Then they'll be fine. Let's see what happens on the end turn. Oh god, I forgot to move that army in Montreal. Nice of Britain to hoover up all the pirates for me. Yeah, that'll happen. You'll have it for now. And that, oh, that army's gonna... Oh, yep. I'm gonna have to really be... Um, France, this area for a while. But to be honest, I might actually be better off giving the Iroquois Confederacy their territory back, declaring peace, teleporting back... My army teleporting back to Montreal. No. No, because if they won, they'd get it, I think. <laughs> oh, no, they might do. Really not going to, really not going to risk it. Really not going to risk it. Good old Louisiana, help me out. Yeah, so if I make peace with the... Oh, let's see where Savoy goes. I've got a full garrison in Paris, should be okay. If I declare peace with the Iroquois, give them a territory back, they'll declare war on me in a few turns, but what it means I can do is I can... My borders become a lot more condensed, so I can take back Quebec and start pushing down the coast. Uh, I'm being tallied fourth by the uh, Hanoverians, but judging by the time, well, judging by my recording timer, um, I think it's going to be the, the start of the next piece, the, the next section. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.